Hi, we're uh, back at a property we videoed six weeks ago, something like that. I uh, stood in a room upstairs with a whiteboard marker, and did some uh, dodgy sums. And, and the idea was, you know, are we going to rent this one or are we going to, are we going to flip it? Uh, we're going to rent it, we decided. Um, it's a slightly more expensive house than we normally do. I think the end value on this is you know, it's getting close to £180,000. And uh, do you know what? I can't remember all the way back then, that six weeks ago, what I said. But I think it's probably crept up by about £10,000 in our estimation since then. Uh, the market's done you know, quite well in the last couple of, couple of weeks, it seems uh, silly to say ten grand in, in six weeks. It's, it's not really that, of course, but it's... Um, yeah, solidified or crystallized around that level. We, we, we're, we're very happy with the end valuation here. Uh, the renovation that we did, I'm gonna give you a walk through because there's a before and after. I'll drop some of the before pictures onto the video roll so as we go through it and you can see see what we've done. Um, I'm here right now on the sort of the snagging phase. Um, the guys are just finishing up. There's a short list of little snagging items that's been made and um, that, that's, that's been done now so I'll flip the camera and go around and, and show you the okay so this is the uh, the lounge and the difference between this spec and our standard sort of buy to let spec is we painted the walls grey and uh, we've changed all the doors uh, there's chrome light fittings on yeah, those kind of things. It's not much more expensive, but we wouldn't normally do those kind of things in a in a house that's sub sub one hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. That's kind of the break point for us. Um, but we haven't gone over the top, so this this wasn't a flip. So we were able to save a, a little bit here and there by. Um, so, yeah. There's a kitchen. Just stand back there and just do that. It's a kitchen. See, very different to how it was. Nice fitting. Through here, snagging this being done. Yeah, there was a downstairs toilet in here, if you remember. It's kind of a washroom that's going to be boxed in down there. You can see, yeah, there you go, get down there. It's, it's all existing in there, there's nothing really changed much. Uh, tidied it up, fitted it a new um, humidity sensing fan. Sit those there, there you go. So, we would fit a humidity sensing fan in. Uh, the kitchen and any bathroom in any rental property. You see here, look, uh, the existing wallpaper, solid and it's um, yeah, it, it, it's affixed properly and fine. So uh, just painting over the top of that saves a bit. I wouldn't have done that if we were flipping it. We'd have stripped the whole house, which would be a bit more of an expense. All existing woodwork. Now we've changed doors, look. But the door frames and... all existing and again that saves a bit of money and that's something we would have changed if we were doing a flip this room decent size room <laughs> not a lot to see in a camera with just gray walls but you know um that's a, a rental carpet we would have put a different carpet and if we're going to flip it a slightly um uh, well actually it's, it's nicer but it's less hard wearing so this is um a uh, very hard wearing carpet. We know that a couple of years in this will still be looking fresh and you can you can clean it up. Whereas uh, if you wanted to sell it, you'd want something looking a little bit more luxurious, but perhaps um, yeah, the owner occupier, uh, it wouldn't probably wouldn't actually last as long. Uh, this is a big change. So if I sort of stand back here and see, there we go, look. There was a door taken out and new door put in. This space here, can I point on the camera? Yeah, there were, this space here was a, was a corridor. So we've ended up with a four piece bathroom suite, separate shower, which on a smaller, cheaper buy to let property, we wouldn't have done. We would have had a um, shower over the taps on a riser, which is perfectly acceptable. And um, uh, a uh, glass shower screen um, but yeah we went for the, the separate shower cubicle which you know, is preferable if you've got the room if you haven't it's fine to put the shower over the um, over the taps we would so just have a look there so again the, the same extractor fan and we go look really important to get the ventilation right in a, in a house you're going to rent out heating and ventilation is the, the thing that's going to stop you know that black 
black mould coming in. Um, just talking about yeah, the, um, the, the shower over the taps in a, in a normal buy to let house. Absolutely fine and preferable, we think, to a um, electric shower because it's just one less thing to, to go wrong. Of course, you've got to check that the pressure's okay. Yeah, it is here. Um, if you haven't got enough pressure, then yeah, you're gonna to have to do something else. But uh, if you can, if you can, shower over the taps is always good enough. And also, always have a shower, and also always have a bath. Yeah, that is that is one thing that we uh, we do know. A, a two or three bed house is going to be rented by a family, and you've got to have a bath in there. Yeah, for for the kids, and not not just a shower room. This is the room where I did the the, uh, the maths on the fitted wardrobe. Makes it a lot bigger, taking the fitted wardrobe out. Makes it a lot bigger. So, yeah. Uh, it's val valued up well. It's on the market to rent. Um, you know, six, six weeks worth of work, job done, turned around and, and back on the market. So, happy with this one. Uh, okay, there we go then. That's the tour. So, I thought it was good to come back and show you around the project we've got. You know, book ended it we've got the the, uh, the start of it and the end of it uh like i say very pleased with this one not not very long to get the thing done it would have been quite a bit longer maybe another three four weeks four maybe four or five weeks um if we wanted to flip it we'd have done it to a different standard it would have been more work uh, but it hasn't really affected the end value we're going to get it valued up for for what we uh, uh what we thought we could sell it for pretty much um maybe maybe five five thousand pounds difference uh we've got some indicative numbers right now and um yeah i'm very happy that once we've well i'll put i'll put a slide in with the numbers must be there by now and um uh, yeah I, I you can see how it works we're uh, we're going to do um get most of our capital back out be able to roll it forward and buy the next property so um don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel do that now for more of the same kind of updates bye for now